And three, two, one. Welcome to Teach Together Try. You're here with uh, Mr. Burns, and we're going to be looking at how we can read a clock. How we can read a clock. Read a clock. And here we go. We're going to do some fun lessons about how we can really learn to tell the time. So here we go. First of all, guys, whenever we tell the time, we've got to start off with finding out what hour is it. What hour is it? So usually when we tell the time, it's going to be something like, oh, 2.14. Or it's going to be something like, oh, 11.23. We want to find out what this number is, what hour it is first. Now, the way that we do that is we look where the little hand is first. The little hand, the little hand always gives us our hour measurement the little hand gives us our hour measurement let me just adjust that let me just adjust that and i'm going to fix that up that's a bit better isn't it so little hand gives us our hour measurement so in order to do that which one on here is the little hand well let me tell you this one is obviously the shortest hand i'm going to color it that's the shortest hand do you see that it's the short one over here this is the long one isn't it this one over here is long we'll call that the long hand right so the little hand gives us the hour, okay? So the little equals the hour, and the long equals the minute, but we'll talk about that in a moment. We can just put that on the back burner for a moment. Right now, we just focus on the little hand equaling the hour. So let's just remember that for now. So, have a look here. You can see the little hand, it's between the four and the five, isn't it? Okay, it's not pointing, it's pointing down here. It's not pointing at the four and it's not pointing at the five. It's actually between the four and the five. So if the little hand is between the four and the five, if it is between the four and the five, we say that it's four something. It's going to be four something, okay? Because it's actually between. If it was pointing right at the four, it might be four as well. If it was pointing right at the five, it would be five o'clock. But it's between the four and the five. So, that's a good start. Let's look for the minutes now. Let's look at the minutes. We're going to have a look at the minutes. And we've talked about the minutes over here. The minutes equal the long hand. The minutes equal the long hand. And the trick is, well, there's two ways to do this. Oh, it's moved, hasn't it? Let's, let's try to keep up with it. It keeps moving around. That's going to be a bit of a bother. Now it's over here, isn't it? Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can count up all the minutes, and <laughs> sometimes that works. Well, let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 31, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, Right, so it's, this clock is reading 42 minutes, okay? So really the time on this clock equals, I think, 4.42. Okay, there's your hours and there's your minutes. And you remember we discovered it was four hours before. Now that's one way to do it. The other way, instead of counting up all the minutes, which you can do if that helps you, the other way is just to work out, well, there's five minutes here, there's five minutes there, 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 five minutes there. Eight times five equals 40. And then you just count these extra two minutes that would be just there. So you'd plus the two, I think, and that would give you 42. And the time would be 442. Now, I hope that that has been useful. Let's do one together. I'm going to rub out all of this. I've shown you. I've shown you how to do one. I hope it rubs out. Oh, gee whiz, my principal won't be too happy with me. I'm going to change the time. We're going to go forward in time. Oh, back forward. Let's go forward in time. Let's do this one. All right. What do you think this one is? Now remember the, the the little hand. The little hand does the hour, doesn't it? So you got to find out the hour first. And the uh, the long hand. Or, or the big hand, what did we call it before? What did we call it? I forget. Let's say the long hand. The long hand, <laughs> the long hand equals the minute. So, can we together work out what the hour is? What's it pointing at? What's the little hand pointing at? Is it pointing at the six or the seven or is it in between? You tell me, what do you think? It's in between, isn't it? 
And if it's in between the 6 and the 7, what does that mean? I hope that you can remember when it's in between, it means it's this first number here. It's not at the 7 yet, it's not there yet, but it's headed there. So because it's in between, it's 6 something. So the hour is 6. Now the minutes. What are we going to do? You can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7. You can count it up like that. Or you can just work out that this is 5 minutes, this space here, and that's 5 minutes. I don't mind what you do. You can work it out. You do what you want. Okay, maybe you went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, it's, if it's about an 11 now, let's add that extra minute. Maybe you counted it up like that. Or maybe you've gone 5 plus 5 is 10 plus the 1, which equals 11. Or maybe you've just gone extra clever. 2, 2 times 5 equals 10, and then you plus the 1 there. Okay, that's probably what I would have done. Let's see if you can do one all by yourself. Here we go. Gonna rub this out. We're gonna go back in time now. Oh, whoa, here we go. Back in time. Oh, we've already done one in a bit like that. Let's change it. Let's go there. Oh, that's too confusing. I don't like that one. Let's do that one. I like that one. That's a good one. Okay, you're doing it all by yourself. Have a go. Pause me and see if you can work out the time. I hope you paused me and I hope you went, hmm, right, so the little hand, the little hand does the hour, little equals the hour, okay, LH, maybe you need to remember LH, and I hope you've gone, well, it's between the three and the four, so it must be three. And then I hope that you remembered that the long equals the minute, long equals the minute, uh, LM, so LH, LM, and I hope you counted it up, maybe you counted up all the way to there, which would be fine, or maybe you went 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, which is 5 plus 5, 5 plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, which equals 25, or maybe you went 5 times 5 equals 25, because you just worked out that it was on there. Maybe that's what you did. Either way, it is 325, and I wonder if that's how uh, you got it. Okay, guys, uh, thanks uh, for watching. Little equals hour, long equals minute, and I hope that that has been a helpful video for you.